Part of me is hoping for a bike ride today, but uh, look at this guy. I'm not sure that will happen. Or will it? Stay tuned and find out. Good afternoon, everyone. It's Trish. You knew that, right? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm here to do my response to Groovy Lisa's YouTube thoughts. Um, like her and, um, like her and Balding Boomer, I don't think it's necessary or good to be using profanity on uh, your videos because uh, you want to attract, you want to bring the younger generation to your channel and set a good example, right? Some people don't care about that. Uh, I won't name names, okay? Um, I don't think it's necessary. I mean, yeah, if I stood up and stubbed my toe, you might hear a few words coming out of my mouth, but uh, it's not necessary if you're just sitting down and making a video. Uh, bad language and, you know, dropping the F-bomb and all that is not necessary. And if you want to set a good example for the young ones, um, you know, don't do that. <laughs> um, I also believe we should, the bigger... The bigger YouTubers should check out what the smaller YouTubers are doing. And if they like their video, you know, comment on it, um, uh, like it, subscribe to it. And I, I just think if we all, you know, support one another, it's a beautiful thing. Um, I've reached out to Casey Neistat and Louie said, here's my channel if you want to check it out. No response. So, take that and, uh, <clears throat> yeah. All right. Um, um, I also believe in shout outs. In shout outs, yes. I think shout outs are a beautiful thing. I think, like I said before, supporting um, the smaller channels that folks that just um, started out and need a little, you know, um, morale, shall we say. We got to heighten the morale here on YouTube, you know. I think shout outs lift the morale. Am I making sense? Anyway, okay, here's my shout outs. Um, <clears throat> um, Groovy Lisa, she, she is awesome. She just, she shows some good stuff. She's not afraid to say, I can't always, uh, afraid to buy w what's current. And some of the current stuff isn't, you know. And she's not afraid to say, yeah, I, th I shop at a thrift. Yeah, I shop at a thrift. I shop at an, at an antique mall. It's all good, you know. Um, she also points out that when you go, when you go to, um, you go to the um, thrift or the antique store or whatever secondhand place to get your, <clears throat> vinyl tape, CD, whatever it is, um, to check it out. Even at yard sales and flea markets, and because you come home, and uh, <clears throat> I've had this happen, you come home, and the wrong disc or tape is in there, or it's scratched all heck. Yeah, okay. Um, so always check what's in the box or always check out if what you're buying is what you're buying. All right. 
Um, second shout out, Vinyl Victim's niece. One of my biggest fans, by the way. Um, so she says. Um, <laughs> I mean, I just started, I, I just started doing live, um, videos on, um, Instagram, and she's the first, the first to sign on, and, um, yeah, um, also, DJ High Noon, he's awesome, he, he's just, he, um, he's cool, he's a, uh, new YouTuber, but, uh, I think he's gonna, uh, climb up there, and, uh, um, he's just, <clears throat> He's a skyrocket to stardom. Pardon me. <clears throat> Not to stardom, but you know. He's going to become popular kind of quickly. Yes. All right. Um, also, Alex Spins Vinyl. Great guy. Great, you know, channel. Shows lots of cool stuff. Um, and a local photographer, I would show like to shout out Greg Caraggio C-O-R-A-G-G-I-O -G -G he's if you're into um sunsets and uh, drone shots oh my goodness he shows some good ones um also and last but sure as heck not least Cameron Zawina out of Canada I believe yeah yeah, so that's it for now. Um, I'm, should I upload this now? Should I upload this now? Or might it be nice tomorrow? Um, I might wait till after tomorrow to upload this because it might be nice tomorrow. Um, people are just starting to you know, see my last one from yesterday, so I'm gala. I'll either upload it tomorrow, uh, tonight, or tomorrow, because I just up uploaded one yesterday. Um, um, although these uh, folks that I shouted out might enjoy hearing me shout them out, so um, we shall see. We shall see. By the way, it is sunny outside today, but the wind has picked up big time. Yeah, so no bike ride for me today. No, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. There's a teeny, tiny, tiny, teeny chance. All right, guys. See you later. So I just packed up this this pa this ev recycled envelope full of CDs and I'm going to mail them out to soon to someone very special. Yes. Hi guys, Trish back again. It's a wild weather Wednesday. Um, I've been offline a few days because uh. I had some back issues. I was having those spasms. So uh, my sister had to uh, take me to the, uh, the emergency room today and uh, get checked out. And I got some muscles relaxer, muscle relaxers prescribed. So I took them. I'm feeling better. So, uh, so uh, oh, yeah. Check out this weather. I still got to be gentle on my, my leg, though. I got to just be careful. Still feeling a little owie, as they say. Check out this weather. Yeah, we got some snow today. It's been some crazy, insane weather. Yeah. Yeah, last night I slept down on that couch because, oh my gosh, I knew I couldn't make it up those stairs. I made it down, but I didn't make it up those stairs. I d had high doubts I'd make it up those stairs without excruciating pain. 
But uh, my brother-in-law was so sweet, he, he took the co the covers and comfort off my bed and brought it downstairs. So I didn't get any sleep last night, maybe a half hour best, maybe. But I've been sleeping all day and uh, just taking it easy with my leg and, oh gosh. So don't worry, guys. Those of you who I offered to do or send some VCLT with, I will send it. <laughs> Just gave it, take me a few days to get back on track. So, uh, all right, and uh, peace, love, and keep the good tune spinning. Talk to you later.